Hello and welcome back to the final review. Today we will be unboxing the HDRC KY101 drone, also known as the Phantom 4 clone from Wish. Let's get started. Okay, so just cutting through the seals on the very side of this box, we can just open it up and we get quite a large piece of styrofoam. Right. Oh, and it's the wrong way around already. Jesus, okay, okay. And then we just um, open it, and we've got propeller guards, and we're greeted with the instructions already. So there's an app. Okay, we're going to have to go on to this quite soon, because, yeah, of course, it's quite important, app syndrome, so you can actually get that full FPV experience, which is what most people want with their drones. So we will use that very soon, but, so we've got our propeller guards here, and we've got our remote control just underneath. The remote control, you can just pop a piece of plastic onto this, which I'm pretty sure here. Let me just pop that on like that. And then this is your phone clamp. It feels very much like an Xbox controller. It feels very much like an Xbox controller, except the Xbox controller just feels smoother compared. It has a trigger button on the top, and these are probably for like return to home functionality and just like t tuning it all. The back panel doesn't have a screw and takes three AA batteries. Now let's get onto the drone. We take it out and it is extremely light, but apparently this thing's quite durable. We take out the battery, which is here, and immediately we're greeted with the tiniest cell I think I've ever seen. Um, it is absolutely tiny. Like, this is my hand, and this is the battery. It looks a lot bigger than it is, because the drone looks a lot bigger than it is, but trust me when I say the drone is actually tiny. This battery is about the same size as the actual AA battery. Which is, hopefully, that will power the drone for the full, long flight that this box claims. Because if you can see, it says on this drone, everywhere, long battery life. One of the features are long battery life. It, all, it says on literally every side of the drone, long battery life. So, hopefully we get that super long battery life that they're promising us. Okay, now, we're going to get these back. Oh, and also... If you didn't notice, this is the camera right here with the antenna because the camera transmits Wi-Fi. It feels like nothing. It's actually surprising to me how this can actually is a working camera. Well, I think it's a working camera. This somehow isn't just a piece of plastic. It has electronics inside, which is crazy to me because of how light and how cheap it feels. The drone itself feels very glossy, very, very plasticky. But I mean, if it flies for $30, it's worth it. And this drone on eBay is about £25, UK pounds. That's our currency here. Which translates to about 30 US dollars. Now, that is extremely cheap for something that can fly. Think 10 years ago where a drone was like insane like one of the most revolutionary pieces of technology on this planet this drone right here would be worth millions but now you can just pick it up for like 25 pounds if this camera broke because of that i have no idea how this thing's meant to survive a crash we're gonna get all these batteries charged up and then we'll see you there bye Okay, so I have got the battery secured, all charged up, and we have our controller here, which I'm going to quickly fill with batteries, and apparently, if I just press this switch, which this battery I've been charging for about two hours now, we just flick the switch, and the battery is on, ready to go. The camera installation looks pretty simple as well. It advertised as having full shock protectors, but I don't see them anywhere in this box. I don't think our model came with that, which is a shame because, you know, 
Oh my god, okay, you guys are falling down. That's not very good. Okay, let me just fix you guys up. Okay, let's just slide this in like that. Okay, and then that little socket there just needs to plug right into that, which is extremely hard to do. And it's very fiddly, if you're going to say so. If you wouldn't know, this is the hardest thing about... I think I need to... Okay, I'll come back when I've got the whole drone set up. See you in a bit. Okay, so I've got the drone fully yeah. set up now. Batteries charged. Camera ready here. Um, and the landing gears on. The landing gears were very easy to put on. So was the camera. Except this little cable here. It is extremely hard and finicky to get into that stupid little port. But... Okay, after a lot of trying, we finally got the drone done. Now I'm just going to set up the controller and get the app on my phone. This should be very easy. The app, if any of you wanted to know, it is called FPV XXX FPV Wi Fi FPV. So, Wi Fi first person view XXX. That's what the app is called, or you can scan that barcode if you want to. These are the instructions, boring stuff, boring crap. So we're gonna get the batteries in the remote and then we're gonna go. Put my batteries in the remote and it started beeping and flashing. So if I press that, yeah, it turns on. And then you turn it on like that. Yeah, apparently it has altitude hold. I don't know if this is the altitude button because this seems like the altitude stick. This one seems like the movement. Because this one holds when you go like that. This one doesn't. So, it depends. We're going to do a test flight. We're going to go to a very big field. In a few days, we'll be there. But in YouTube, that will be like in a few seconds. So, bye. For now. I mean, I don't even know why I'm saying bye. Because I'll be there in like a second for you people. Anyways, see you there, I guess. Thank you.